Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy, and today we're going to continue our look at the trigonometric functions of the slide rule by having a look at cosine. So let's get right into a problem. Okay, so we have a right triangle here, as denoted by this little square right triangle symbol, and we're given the length of the hypotenuse, side C, is 5, and the adjacent side to angle B is 4. What we want to do is we want to find the length of side B. And we're going to use the rule of sines in this form right here. Now once again, we want to work with what we have available. We know a value for the hypotenuse and we know a value for the adjacent side. And that's enough to find the cosine of angle B. And the cosine of angle B will equal 4 over 5. So the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Now once again we're going to go ahead and solve this by proportion. We'll divide both sides by 4 and we'll get cosine of b over 4 equals 1 over 5. Let's set that up on the slide rule. Now bringing the cursor out to 5 is pretty straightforward. And then we're going to put the index directly over it and we're going to come out to the 4. So we're going to come up to the sine scale and instead of looking at the black sine numbers we're going to look at the red cosine numbers. So this is 20, this is 30, this is 40. This would be 35, 36, and it looks like about 37. As we know, that's 36.9. So now we know that angle B is 36.9 degrees. Now like with the tangent, our next step is to go to the sine of 36.9 degrees and then read straight down to the length of the corresponding side. We'll go ahead and do that now. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll move our cursor on the sine scale. There's 30, 35, 36.9 is right there. And we read straight down to the length of the corresponding side, which is 3. So now we know that side B is 3. So if we're given a triangle with two sides in the right angle, we can use the rule of sines as long as we know one of the opposing sides because we know the ratio being set up between the hypotenuse and the 90 degree angle. Since we know that the sine of 90 degrees is 1 and we can pair it up with the length of the hypotenuse, if we can find one of the other two angles using either a tangent function or the cosine function, we can solve the triangle. Now as you may recall, the relationship between the sine and the cosine is that sine alpha equals the cosine of 90 degrees minus alpha and the cosine of alpha equals the sine of 90 degrees minus alpha. So as we look at the slide rule, if we come out here to the sine of 40 degrees, we notice that just to the left of us in red is the cosine, which is 50 degrees. The sine increases as we move from left to right and the cosine increases as we move from right to left. Now another nice feature is if we look at an angle that's 46 degrees, we can read the sine of 46 degrees. That's 40, 45, 46. However, the cosine is 40, 42, 44. That is also the complementary angle to a right triangle. Make sure you give me a quick follow because we're going to have more slide rule action coming up. Take care, guys.